Before we start today's video, I just wanted to let you guys know that I have officially dropped 31 Days of Halloween 2019 merch. The link is at the very top of my description where you can go and get your own, and I can't wait to see you guys wearing those t-shirts. Hi, my angels. So today's video is one that if you were here for last year's 31 Days of Halloween and you saw our Skeleton Park video, this is one that will interest you so much and you'll be very intrigued as to the result that we're gonna get in a very similar park because where we are standing right now is pretty much another skeleton park but with a totally different story. Okay, so this is a Pioneer Cemetery. Um, they used to have headstones, it used to be like a regular cemetery, but it fell into despair. And now it's just a Pioneer Pergola, they call it. And they have all the stones on the wall that you'll see. And um, all of the bodies are still here and just the stones are on the wall. So it's exactly like Skeleton Park was. Mm -hmm. Except that they actually kept the stones, whereas yeah. Skeleton Park, you would really have no idea the history of it unless you knew the history of Skeleton Park. And what's really interesting about this space, you guys, is much like Skeleton Park, we came here earlier to get you guys daytime footage, which we will be inserting before we start the investigation. But what you won't see is that there was a little boy and his dad playing baseball here on top of bodies that are still buried underground. So if this wasn't here, you would never have a clue that you are walking amongst or on top of dead bodies. So this space is of course notably haunted. There's a lot of activity that tends to happen here. Do you know any specifics or do you just know that it's haunted? I just know that it was haunted that people, I think they've seen people have actually seen people walking through the park right. at night, right? And mm -hmm. then there's obviously nobody there, but. So <laughs> we are going to kind of give you guys a walk around tour of it. You're going to see it in the dark in comparison to during the day. And then I think we're just going to fire up a spirit box session, much like we did for Skeleton Park and see if we can communicate with any of the spirits that may still be roaming here. So let's get this video started.
<laughs> so we are not good bodyguards. We are not good bodyguards. Oh my goodness. Anyways, sorry for the jump scare, guys. But then. <laughs> So anyways, back to reality. There's more tombstones here as well. And if you guys are noticing, there's so many of them. So there has to be this many bodies still buried here in the park. And up here, as I showed you earlier, I can walk through the center because this isn't actually where they are. There's tombstones kind of all across here too. So, now that you guys kind of understand what this place is, you've seen all of the tombstones here and you know that they are all buried here in this park, I think it's time to fire up the spirit box. Let's do this. Is there anybody here who'd like to speak with us? What'd you say? What's your name? Well, my name is Haley. This is my mom. This is our cousin Sarah. We go to places where spirits are known to be in attempt to communicate with them. You're not obligated, and we don't mean to disrespect, but if you'd like to talk, you can use this device called a spirit box and communicate with us. You can tell us to leave, you can tell us who you are, you can ask us questions, do you know what year it is? You think you went like down more, like the yeah. middle so of the field? So, I was just thinking, they're not here, but like you said, they're down there. Yeah, they're down there. So I'm wondering, like you said, if we relocate, we'll have better luck. Yeah. Maybe if we sit on the grass, maybe the last time. That's what I think we'll do. I'm sure that you guys just heard that, but Sarah made a good point that I was also kind of thinking of, is that these are just their tombstones. This isn't actually where they're buried. They're buried in the actual park over there. So she suggested that we go sit on the ground like we did in Skeleton Park and see if that makes a better connection. So we're gonna go reset up and then we'll, we'll turn you guys back on. Okay you guys, so we've relocated. We found a tree stump kind of in the center of the park. So there's still a lot more ways that way and there's a lot more ways that way. But we're gonna at least try it here and then if not we're gonna go handheld and we're gonna just walk and see if anything chooses to come through that way so let's fire her up would any spirits like to communicate with us We know that you're buried here. I'm wondering if you have anything you'd like to say. Grab 
best bet is going to be to walk around. So nothing is coming through right now. Like in Skeleton Park they were all sick. You yeah. know what I mean? Like they they didn't know they had passed on so maybe mm -hmm. here a lot of them aren't here kind of thing. Maybe. Maybe it's just a space that's just at this point a burial ground. Yeah. Like just a cemetery that's no longer a cemetery. Um. I think we should walk around a little bit mm -hmm. with the spirit box, kind of see if anything comes through. And then, um, if not, maybe this is just one of those places that people may think is haunted just because of its history, or maybe we're just not vibing with the spirits, but. Okay. I'm moving around in case you'd like to communicate. What? Oh, I can, I can. What'd you say? Can you repeat yourself? Okay. I think it said this way. Which way? <laughs> Straight? What'd you say? Walk over them? Yeah, it actually almost is like that, you guys. Like, we walk, we hear like a little communication with something, and we keep moving on. Nothing is holding to a conversation. But we're gonna keep looping around regardless and seeing if at certain areas there's more communication. What'd you say? Does it turn around? Yeah, I thought it did. Let's try again. Okay, turning around. Yeah. Tell us when to stop. Okay. Maybe let's walk. Stop. real person. You guys, I was literally about to be like, you guys, I see something. We're catching something like solid. It was solid as it comes. <laughs> it was as solid as it come. <laughs> oh, dang it. Okay, we'll keep walking. Yeah, we'll walk towards the darkness over here and then head back towards the tombstones. Does anybody want to communicate? Who's there? It's sad. Hi, I'm Haley. 
This is Sarah. Not that you're looking through the camera. This is my mom. Hi. And every October we travel to places that have history and spirits and we try to communicate. But you're not obligated. But if there's anything you'd like to say, we'd love to hear it. No, I don't see you. Do you see me? Can you see me? My battery is going to die. No one's gonna freaking believe that either. I know. <laughs> it's all the time. Well, Maybe because so there's bodies. so much energy. Huh. Okay, well, I guess we'll just keep going so we can. Okay, you guys, so we are gonna end this video here mostly because my camera battery once again is dying. I feel like in places like this, there's just so much energy that it just drains my electronics. But I'm not that bad at it this time around because I feel like the spirits here are just at peace. Mm -hmm. When we were walking through, they were saying things like hi and little messages, but it wasn't like Skeleton Park where there was a desperation or mm -hmm. yeah. a need to communicate. Or help and, yeah. yeah, and I, I always think like situations like this, which is why I upload these videos, just validates all the more when we make like such serious contact with the other side. So I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Let us know in the comments below where you want to see us go this Halloween. <laughs> And that is it for today's video. Remember my loves, do all things Thanks with kindness. kindness. And until next time, we love you. <laughs> Bye guys. Bye.